friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic, most fun community in all gaming. I'm going to do something that I don't do quite often. Make a recommendation on a champion you should play if you never have before, and that champion is Tristana. With the recent ADC buffs and her overall kit, she's in a really good place, and I'll make some recommendations on champs that I like to play her into, talk about her play style, which is unique, and that while she is a late game champion that scales really well, there are also situations early in the match in which she is very strong um, and can take down some of those early game champions and you'll see I actually end up playing her into Draven this match. Um, I've seen her even in the jungle in a game with Grandmasters and Challengers as recently as I think that was earlier today that that happened and she was the carry in the game. So she's playing very well. If you can learn how to use her because her second ability is a jump she can be very strong, and um, I think she's in a good spot right now. Um, personally, I actually like playing her into early game champions like Draven, Misfortune, um, sometimes Lucian, although he's he can be pretty slippery, so he's tough. One of the big advantages with Tristana is that jump that she has, that she can get in or out or get into different positions, but with Lucian, he can sort of reposition. Uh, you can also play her into Ash because everything plays well into Ash. And then Samira, because Samira's ultimate and her attack, she sort of wants to dive and jump on top of you, and you can jump and get out of there. Um, so I'll show you a couple of different things in this video pretty early on where I could show you how strong Tristana is early in the match, and even against a Draven and a Senna, which would be a difficult match for Tristana and Nami to go into. Uh, and then as the game goes on, once you get a little bit ahead, she scales very well. Every time she levels up, her attack range is increased, and she can just be very good into the late game and can outscale most champions, except for, you know, the traditional ones that are basically all late game champions. Uh, I will also show you another thing at the end of this video. Um, tell me what you think in the comments about who do you think Tristana plays well into according to League of Legends counter stats. Uh, I looked it up because I was sort of curious because I know how I like to play her, uh, but I was wondering what League of Legends says. And while it's not always going to be the case that counter stats are accurate, um, I think it's a pretty good reference to go with and to just at least take a look at and have a sense of. Although the game is vastly different from League of Legends, Wild Rift plays much faster and at a much higher pace than League of Legends you know, ever does. Uh, so it's something to keep in mind. Now you can see here, what we're doing is we're just, we're going to play safe right now, miss farm just like that, um, and not get blown up by the abilities, because what we need are a couple of things. If we tie in lane against Draven, we're good to go. Uh, I don't know what Nami is doing engaging there, but we're going to throw our bomb onto Draven. But you can see how quickly it spirals out of control, where, you know, one more auto attack and maybe one from Senna and Nami is basically dead there and we have to use the honey fruit. So you, when playing in lane you want to play cautious at first. If you can get your bomb onto the enemy it's a good thing to do and you can see we have a rotation from Darius and he's able to get the first blood. Now if not for Darius there I would not have engaged the way that I did and taken all the damage but I saw that Darius was coming and I was able to put good damage onto Draven, and now we're able to get an assist. We're going to continue the farm, jump out of there, and reset, and get a shop in. And here you say, actually, I say, nice gank to Darius, because that was good. Um, you know, it's always good to have a good early gank, and now we're up 2-1 to one instead of 1-1. One to one. Um, So that is a situation where when I can get my bomb onto Draven or my bomb onto somebody and you can shoot it so when you put your bomb onto an enemy or anything whether you can do it towers too every time you hit it you make it stronger and do more damage uh, I think it's up to four auto attacks that you can put onto it and it'll do damage to the people or minions or whoever's around you so actually if you get Tristana's bomb onto a tower it does a pretty wide blast area that it'll put damage on and it can be annoying to deal with when you have somebody shoved in. But you can see here, even though, uh, you know, we got a little bit of a lead, nothing too crazy, and Nami hits a bubble, I'm not going to just run and engage that Draven. I still want to 
play back a little bit. I still want to continue to play safe, and I want them to have to force this lane. Um, my teammates, Akali snowballed. It seems unlikely that Akali's going to be snowballed at this point, but people get frustrated when things aren't going their way, so that's okay. Darius is coming back looking for another gank, and now they know he's here, so it's kind of a weird spot, but when we're able to... That was a good bubble by Nami. I thought we might engage. Right, so here, Draven is coming. And see what I do? Okay, so I'm able to get into a position with Draven where I am ready to go. I gotta get out of here, though. Okay, so when you watch back that fight, you can see I get my bomb, and if I get three or four shots off on that bomb, it does so much damage. And if Nami can just heal me a little bit, I could put enough damage on Draven to kill him, and then after that, Sun is as good as dead. Um, now I see that we're fighting again, and if I can get my bomb onto them, which I actually shoot and they die, and now we need to back off. Um, so that was good, but Oriana's going to go down. Very good bubble, and I think we should just back off and get out of here. We don't want this fight. We've got a lot of gold, and we can get our first item, so we really want to clear this. Be aware that Dragon is spawning in 30 some seconds. And just get this wave, get our shop in. Actually, we've got to do two waves now. So get these waves cleared. And then you see I use the bomb. That way I can do damage to all the minions there. Although it doesn't work out very well because I get hit by Senna. And they're doing a good job of putting pressure on us. And Senna's doing a good job landing their abilities too. So I'm able to get my first item, get some boots. And we need to have presence of mind about Dragon. I don't agree with what they're doing, putting damage on a tower this early. If I was them and I was on their team, I would want them either to reset like they are. Okay, so you see what's happening? So they put basically no damage on the tower. And they have to reset late. And they let the three of us take Dragon for free. And Tristana takes towers and dragons like crazy. Um, and that was Draven and Senna's fault, because Akali was actually rotating, they would have had a 3v3, and could have at least challenged for Dragon, you know, maybe they can't win it from us, or maybe they're in a weird spot that they don't really want to fight, but at least slowed us down and maybe given their team an opportunity to get to that Dragon. Um, but they decided to put basically no damage on the tower, and, um, there, and, oh boy, this is a fight. I'm trying to get some damage off on Pantheon. I unfortunately used all for the bad time when he had his shield up, so that was a mistake, and now I just need to get out of there. Um, so that's what I one of the things I had mentioned about Tristana's playstyle. I typed my bad because that was that was actually a bad play there. I should have backed off further. So what I actually should have done was save my ultimate till Pantheon was not didn't have his shield up, and then backed off a little bit further, and then if I got chased, used it. Uh, but fortunately, Nami gets a double kill there, which was a really good play. So, good job for Nami. And what I was saying about Tristana, though, is while Tristana can be strong, like if you can jump onto somebody, use your first ability, put the bomb on them, and get the perk, and then even like an exhaust, you can be in a really good spot to win a fight early. But you can also get in a very weird spot where you can't just run around fighting anybody because you got a couple of kills early on. Eventually, Tristana can scale to that point, uh, but it's just not something that you can do this early, so you need to be aware of that and play around basically her bomb and her jump because those are the two most important things. Um, and now we've got Akali kind of getting out of line, able to get Nami. You have to trust me, <laughs> it was a glorious fight there. Uh, I got a text message and in the middle of it I was fighting Akali so I couldn't put the text message up so it lasted seven seconds. Uh, but it was quite the fight. I used my ultimate and I was able to get a kill on Akali as you see there. And then I can see that Draven is in the bottom side of the map most of their team is dead, so I'm able to take this tower and then able to farm some of their jungle and then I'll be able to get a good shop in and reset. Uh, so sorry about that, but yeah, I, my wife texted me. Uh, and now I am going to take this farm. You can see that Tristana blows up jungle camps very quickly, especially when you use your bomb on it. So I'm going to get the bomb, blow this, far, blow this up, farm the wave. Be aware of the next dragon spawning, and I want to shove this wave and then rotate to my team because we have a fight going, breaking out in mid. 
and you can see able to get a bomb on Asana. Darius is able to get a kill. Now we're able to get Draven. Good job, Darius. Double kill. And now I'm going to try to chase down the Sakali. And let's see if I can get there. If I can get a bomb. And you can see, there's just like Akali's running, and because I have that my second ability jump, I'm just as fast as that Akali, and I can chase them down. Yes, I had to use Flash, uh, but fortunately we're gonna looks like be able to get a dragon here. And Pantheon ults in, steals dragon, and he dies, but definitely worth it. You can't let something like that get you down. It happens from time to time. People make really good plays, and while I wish our jungle would have got it, not a big deal. So we're going to reset, use our couple thousand gold, assess the map, kind of go from there. Uh, I'm still outscaling the Draven. Who, actually, Draven does pretty well in this match, um, despite um, what ends up happening with their team. And so now I had to reset. I'm going to farm this, but there is a fight happening that I should get to. And I jump in there and realize, oh, that was a mistake. Um, and I feel bad because I get two of my... <laughs> yeah, I, I get a kill there. Um, but I actually typed my bad. I did not mean to get two of my teammates killed in that situation. Um, so, sorry about that, guys. And now I'm going to sub some vision on Baron. And the Senna is going to be in a weird spot because I'll be able to get a bomb and an exhaust. We jump on them and kill them. But you can see how fast, like, I mentioned earlier that there was a game in, at Grandmaster and Challenger that um, Tristana was in the jungle, but. That's what happens. So Tristana jumps over a wall onto you, puts maybe, you know, they exhaust you, they get a bomb on you, they use their first ability so their attack speeds up, and they can blow that thing up. And then the other thing they can do with their ultimate is going to be put you in a weird position. Uh, I actually use it later on in this match where I use my ultimate to put them in a really weird spot. Um, so now, here what happens, and what I actually thought should have happened was... They were all on the top side of the map, and um, Baron was up. I think we had four of us down by Baron, and Jax was all by himself, and they had all rotated to kill him. And I type in this that we should really just take Baron right there. We can take it very quickly with Darius and I. Um, we would have been able to have it before they knew what was going on. And yeah, maybe Jax goes down, but now that the Baron buff stays with you after you die and come back, it would have been totally worth it. Instead, you know, a bunch of us go down, we die, and, you know, we're not really in a better spot and probably in a worse spot than we were before that fight. Um, so sometimes you got to be aware of the map. I maybe could have pinged it a little bit more, uh, but I don't know if that would have mattered. And now they're probably on Baron right now. And so what I do, yeah, so I knew they were on Baron, and so then I thought, okay, I'm going to take a tower, and then I can jump over the wall, take some of their jungle camps, back off, and I see there is what I think could be a kill here, and he gets away. And now I'm in a very tough spot that I need to back off and get out of there. Actually, we got him. But, okay, something I want to talk about there, what you saw me do. I did not run over to Baron, try to 1v4 or 2v4 their team. I shoved waves and I took a tower and then I basically got out of there, tried to get a kill where I could. As where what you see quite regularly is people run over and they watch the enemy team take Baron and then sometimes they jump in and kill themselves. And same thing there. They have the Baron buff. I'm basically by myself or maybe Nami. They're taking Dragon and unfortunately I just have to give it to them. Um, and so what I'm trying to do is just get some damage onto these waves so they don't have big waves to shove in. Um, I use my jump and you'll see me right there. So I put Pantheon in a weird spot. He takes a tower shot, which he doesn't want to do, um, and he doesn't want to be out of position. And I do lose the tower, but that's one thing you can do with Tristana's ultimate. So um, like I had mentioned, that jungle. So they jump, ultimate you into a weird spot, so you have to burn flash. Um, and try to get out of there and then they put a bomb on you and then they blow it up and you're basically dead and especially if you know somebody on your team can do the same thing i don't think i'd recommend trying tristana on jungle the first time uh, but it's just a consideration you can see how strong her rotations can be um, so now we're pretty strong the enemy's actually catching up to us pretty well um, another thing you should be aware of is where the enemy is on the map fortunately 
how it goes down here. Nami alts, and let's see, and are we gonna, no, we're not gonna be able to get in there. We have Baron spawning in three seconds, the next dragon spawning in 20 seconds, and two of them dead. This is a cheeky little play that Darius decides to do, is hide in that bush. Um, and let's see if we can catch out the Draven. I have jump if I need it, but I really don't want to use my jump to engage all the time. You want to use it quite regularly to disengage from big fights. Uh, but once you get a kill, it resets. So that's another thing that you can do very well with Tristana. Is once you sort of are in a position where you're strong, you can chase down the enemy team. And you'll see quite regularly Tristana get a bunch of kills in team fights and big team fights that are one because you can jump kill somebody jump kill somebody and just keep going and Jax is saying group at elder another these cheeky little plays hiding in bushes Akali just oblivious to the world and actually you can see me sort of fading this fight I it's kind of a weird spot where there was a bunch of them there but fortunately we're able to get the kill and now we're pinging that we want to take Elder, and I think that's a pretty good play. We've got Oriana there. Let's see. Now I'm going to jump over, and we get the Jace. And this is sort of a weird spot. Draven's coming, and watch this little move that I do. Just So he's running to try to get a kill, and he doesn't even realize how quickly he's about to die from that you know he just wants to one shot that Oriana and here you can see we get out there we sweep them and we kill them so I will show the graph right now for who the counter pick says to play into but that was a good game and like I said Tristana's in a good spot I wouldn't just jump right into ranked with it try out a couple times see how you feel get comfortable with her jump and when to jump in and when to jump out but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with her and where she's at in the meta and this was a good game for us we had a we had a good team um good job guys hopefully i see you on the rift gg